walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. This is Starhawk on the Vectrex. And it's... It's pretty cool. It's kind of... It's simulating 3D. So... It's pretty fair to say that there's no true 3D going on here. You've got like scaling sprites, if you can call them sprites, scaling characters, spaceships coming in from the distance, you know, they just get bigger as they get, well, apparently closer. And you've got like the, what looks like a Death Star trench, which is, uh, it's like the equivalent of the colour swapping effect you get on, say, Master System racing games or that kind of thing. Um, so it's not true 3D, but the effect is great. Um, I would have gone gaga, whoops, for this back in the day, because I was and still am a big Star Wars fan, so it was like anything involving a trench, yeah. And it, it is simplistic in, in, you know, you just got your crosshair, you move it over the enemy, you press fire, and that, that's all it is. And you're playing against the clock, um, but if you score a certain amount within a certain time, it continues. Uh, I did that just a minute ago. I, I practiced shock horror. I normally never practice, but I wanted to find out what the controls were. So I, I did manage to get it to continue once. Um... I'm probably not going to manage that. Yes, there, there it is. Extra time. I like the noise. It's a noisy game, and I, I like that. On old, on retro games, I like them to be noisy. It's like I like bright, bold, chunky, colourful games, and you're not going to get any of the chunky or colourful or anything like that. But noisy is the next best thing. It's kind of like. Gorf on the Vic-20, the best thing about that was the noise, and I think that's possibly the best thing about this. We'll play some more, just because we can. There's not an awful lot I can say about it, it really is, what you see is what you get. Um, this, I believe, is a conversion of an arcade game. It seems a lot of these Vectrex games are conversions of arcade games. I was reading a bit... I stumbled across something on, I don't know if it was a website or a, a no, it was, it was this month's Retro Gamer, they had an article on Vector Graphics Games, and the guy who programmed this was talking about it, uh, how Atari were competing with this other company, whose names I can, I, I forget the name of that other com company now, I think the guy who did this was possibly the guy or working for the company that did Speed Freak. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go on about that because I'll get all the details wrong and then people will correct me and I'll feel silly because <laughs> I am aware that I do talk absolute bollocks quite often and get all of the facts wrong. Um, that's the thing. Being old-ish means you remember an, all the, an, an awful lot of things from back in the day. But it also means that you forget an awful lot of the, the details. Because <laughs> um, though the memories are there, they're entirely inaccurate. I don't know which is better. Remembering things or uh, looking them up. You look them up, you'll get your facts right. But you remember them and you, you, you get a feel, more of a feel for how things were. Maybe, I don't know, I'm waffling. It's, what are you meant to do when playing a game like this? There's only so much you can say, and then it just... You go off at a tangent. Yes. I, I suppose I could just shut up and play, but, you know... That would be defeating the object. Or, actually, it probably wouldn't. I don't know. Blah. As a complete aside, and something that will uh, maybe upset one or two people, I applied for partnership today. I had sent in a couple of uh, 
I'd applied for revenue sharing on a couple of videos just as a test to see if they would even accept them and they did so um, I applied for partnership and we'll see how that goes um, if I do get accepted don't expect any major changes in the format of what I do here the point is to put ads on what I'm doing not modify what I'm doing to suit putting ads on there we go that's completely straying from the point of this video which is Starhawk on the Vectrex it's it's simple it's fun I like that you 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 wouldn't spend a lot of time playing this um, but this is how games were arcade games were back in the day they were simple they were fun you put your 10p in and you have a quick blast and at that this is great um, yes definitely worth having I think alright I'll shut up because my mind is going duh and I don't know what I'm talking about thank you for watching